Hi friends, in this video we will see how to find the divergence of a vector field. In the last class or in the last video we have seen how to find the gradient of uh, a scalar function. We have seen that uh, a gradient of a scalar function always yields uh, a vector value. Now we will see how to find the divergence of a vector field in different coordinate systems and how to do that. By taking a small example, we will see uh, how to find the divergence in each coordinate system. Now we will see, so the divergence of, uh, for example, d bar is a vector field which I am assuming. Divergence of d bar can be written as del bar dot d bar. And it can be written as, in Cartesian system, we can write actually d bar in Cartesian system can be represented as dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar. This is the vector representation, general vector representation in Cartesian system. Now, if I want to know del bar dot d bar, we already have seen that what is del bar in Cartesian system. It is dou by dou x ax bar plus dou by dou y ay bar plus dou by dou z az bar. Now how can you find del bar dot d bar? So del bar dot d bar is equal to dot product between these two vectors. ax bar dot ax bar is 1 and ax bar dot ay bar is 0. ax bar dot az bar is 0. So you can just multiply the corresponding coordinates of the unit vectors. So you will get dou dx by dou x plus dou dy by dou y plus dou dz by dou z. So this is the divergence of a vector field. If you observe this expression or this equation, you can understand this is a, a scalar function. This is a scalar result. As we have seen in the last video, the gradient of a scalar function gives us a vector, whereas the divergence of a vector field d bar is any vector field with uh, the vector representation like this. So the divergence of that vector field is a scalar field. In this way you can find this uh, divergence in Cartesian system. Now if, if I want to do a problem on divergence in Cartesian system, so how can I do it? So I am assuming now d bar as any vector like 4xy ay bar plus 3z az bar. This is a vector which I am assuming. Now how can I find del bar dot d bar in Cartesian system? Before finding the gradient, I request all of you to just identify the components of d bar. So the components of d bar in y direction is dy. So what is that value given here? 4xy. Just compare this uh, vector with generalized vector which is dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar. So if you compare this vector with this uh, generalized vector, in place of dx you don't have any vector. So dx is 0. In place of dy we have 4xy. So 4xy is dy. In place of dz what we have 3 times z. These are the values of dy, dx, dz. And how can I find del bar dot d bar? It is just we have seen now dou dx by dou x plus dou dy by dou y plus dou dz by dou z. Now just to substitute dx here. So dou by dou x of what is dx value? 0 plus dou by dou y of what is dy value? 4xy plus dou by dou z of what is dz 3z now this value is 0 plus dou by dou y of 4xy with respect to y 4x is constant so 4x dou by dou y of y is 1 plus what is the other one dou by dou z of 3z so 3 dou by dou z of 1 so finally the value of del bar dot d bar is 4x plus 3 this is a scalar result in this way, you can find the gradient in Cartesian system. So, 
no need to remember no need to uh, no in a, uh, no need to understand how we got this different uh, divergence just if you know the formula you can find it easily so next we'll see del bar dot d bar in cylindrical system what are the coordinates of cylindrical system rho phi z so now we will see that it is 1 by rho do by do rho of rho into d rho plus what is meant by d rho here the component of d bar in rho direction next 1 by rho do by do phi of d phi plus do by do z of d z now if i represent any vector which is in cylindrical system for example i can represent this as a 2 rho square uh, a rho bar plus um, cos phi a phi bar plus 10 z a z bar so this is the vector which is given to us now in order to find the great uh, sorry divergence of this vector we need to identify the components by comparing it with the general equation what is the generalized equation in cylindrical coordinate system it is a d rho a rho bar plus d phi a phi bar plus d z a z bar now compare the given vector with the generalized vector so that you can identify what is d rho d rho is 2 rho square what is uh, d phi d phi is cos phi similarly what is d z d z is 10 z now just to substitute these values here you will find del bar dot d bar which is in cylindrical coordinate system what is this value it is 1 by rho dou by dou rho of rho into d rho d rho is 2 rho square 2 rho square plus 1 by rho dou by dou phi of what is phi component cos phi so cos phi plus dou by dou z of what is z component 10 z so it is 1 by rho it is like 2 rho cube 2 is constant so i can take it out of the differentiation uh, differentiation of rho cube with respect to rho is 3 rho square plus 1 by rho dou by dou phi of cos phi is minus sin phi plus dou by dou z of 10 z is 10 so finally what you will get rho and one row will get cancelled 2 into 3 6 so 6 row plus sorry 6 row minus minus sine phi by rho plus 10 so this is the value of del bar dot d bar in cylindrical coordinate system so in this way we can find the uh, divergence of uh, a vector field in cylindrical coordinate system now we will see how to uh, find the divergence in spherical coordinate system so i am just doing some basic problems on uh, gradient divergence and curl as well as uh, laplacian in these uh, three to four videos in order to familiarize you with uh, the gradient operation curl operation and the divergence operation how to do that mathematically and the last one is how to find the del bar dot d bar in spherical coordinate system so you need to uh, remember these formulas dou by 1 by r dou by dou r r square dr plus 1 by r sin theta dou by dou theta of sin theta d theta plus 1 by r sin theta dou by dou phi of d phi now in order to find this so it is del bar dot d bar for example if a vector is given as t bar just in order to create some confusion a little bit confusion they may ask instead of d bar they may ask a t bar now t bar is given as like this for example r square sin theta 
इट इज नॉट ओके ये आर बार प्लस एंड आर कास्ट फाइव ये थीटा बार प्लस आर स्क्वायर साइन फाइव ये फाइव बार फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द वेक्टर गिवेन इन द प्रॉब्लम नाउ हाउ कैन यू फाइंड डेल बार डॉट टी बार इफ इट इज आस्क टू फाइंड द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ द वेक्टर टी बार वॉट वी नीड टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज टू फाइंड टी आर वॉट इज मेड बाई टी आर द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ टी बार इन रेडियल डायरेक्शन सो टी आर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वायर साइन थीटा नेक्स्ट वॉट इज टी थीटा द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ टी बार इन थीटा डायरेक्शन सो इट इज आर कास्ट फाइव नेक्स्ट वॉट इज टी फाइव वॉट इज मेड बाई टी फाइव द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ टी बार इन फाइव डायरेक्शन सो इट इज आर स्क्वायर साइन फाइव ओके नाउ हाउ कैन यू फाइंड डेल बार डॉट टी बार जस्ट इन प्लेस ऑफ डी आर यू विल गेट टी आर इन प्लेस ऑफ डी थीटा सी जस्ट आई एम जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग दिस थ्री आई एम जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग दिस थ्री नाउ डेल बार डॉट टी बार हाउ कैन यू फाइंड डेल बार डॉट टी बार सो डो बाई डो आर ऑफ आर स्क्वायर इन टू टी आर नेक्स्ट हियर यूल गेट टी थीटा एंड हियर यूल गेट टी फाइव एज वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड टी आर टी थीटा टी फाइव फ्रॉम द गिवेन वेक्टर बाय कंपेरिंग इट विथ द स्टैंडर्ड वेक्टर वी जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट हियर फाइनली सो डेल बार टॉट डॉट टी बार इज इक्वल टू वन बाय आर स्क्वायर डो बाय डो आर ऑफ वॉट इज टी आर वैल्यू आर स्क्वायर साइन थीटा एंड यू हैव अनदर आर स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय आर साइन थीटा डो बाय डो थीटा ऑफ साइन थीटा इंटू वॉट इज टी थीटा आर कास फाइव प्लस वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट टर्म वन बाय आर साइन थीटा डो बाय डो फाइव ऑफ टी फाइव वॉट इज टी फाइव इट इज आर स्क्वायर साइन फाइव सो आर स्क्वायर Just I substituted T R T theta T phi, T R T theta T phi in this expression, so I will get this vector. Now how can I find del bar dot T bar? So just in order to make this concept easy for you, I am making this video. Though it looks simple, but it forms the basic. So one by R square. Do by do r of r square into r square. So r power four into sine theta. Sine theta is constant uh, with respect to r. R square differentiation is four uh, r cube plus one by r sine theta. Do by do theta of r cos phi is constant with respect to theta, and do by do theta of sine theta is uh, cos theta plus one by r sine theta. Do by do phi of r square sine phi. R square is constant. Sine phi in, uh, differentiation is cos phi. So this is the value r square and two r's will go out. So four r into sine theta. Next r r will get cancelled. Cos theta by sine theta is cot theta. So cot theta cos phi plus r r will get cancelled. So you will get r. Cos phi by sine theta. So this is the value of del bar dot t bar. So the divergence of a vector field t bar. So in this way we can find the divergence in Cartesian, divergence in cylindrical, as well as divergence in spherical coordinate system. One thing which we need to observe is we need to identify the components of the vector in x y z direction rho phi z direction r theta phi direction and then substitute them in the basic formulas of divergence then you can easily obtain the divergence thank you very much